What do you think about what's happening in Germany? Do you know, she was the most powerful European leader. You know, been in power for over a decade. She was the dominant figure, not just in Germany, but in the entire European Union. And one decision has completely ruined her career and her legacy. And it was, I think, the worst decision any Western leader has taken in modern times. As many of you as want to come, can come. Over a million people came into Germany. And you know, we've now seen, in the last four years, over a thousand people in Europe killed or maimed by refugees wow. coming into these countries. And a new party in Germany has emerged. It's called the AFD, the Alternative for Deutschland. It's getting near 20% of the polls, and it's put the absolute fear of God into the establishment. Now, she's got two weeks to try and convince the European Union to change direction. But it's a bit rich, isn't it? For the person, for the person who opened the door to yeah. say to the rest right. of Europe, it's time to get up, she's finished. The president, wow. the president says, you know, Germany has this high crime rate that's gone up. He gets lambasted by the media here saying that mm. the crime rate has technically gone down. But if you look at the numbers, 2015, 2016, mm. and that's when kind of this all really became a problem, uh, the violent crime rate went up something like 10% in Germany. These are murders rates. Oh, yeah. And 90% of those crimes were attributed to young male refugees. Yeah. This is coming from Reuters. And please don't forget crimes yeah. against women. I mean, you've got, basically, what are called refugees are in fact young Young males, 80% of them are under the age of 30. They come from cultures in which women aren't even second-class citizens. Is anyone surprised that uh, you know the huge rise in sexual crime? Uh, look, immigration led to the Brexit vote. Immigration led to the new Italian government. Immigration will finish off Angela Merkel. And President Trump was elected on a very tough ticket of dealing with illegal immigration. And now you've got the liberal media screaming at everything he does. But the one thing's for certain, if Trump does not hold true, and, and really tighten immigration, many of those people who came out and voted for him won't do it again. So That's it's right. a key issue here, too. So let's take a look at some numbers because there has That's been a 27% increase in asylum seekers in the United States. That's just in 2017.